The global macadamia industry continues to expand with some relatively new players set to make their mark over the next decade. The 6th International Macadamia Symposium took place in Brisbane in September and attracted about 300 delegates from Australia and beyond, including South Africa, Paraguay, Kenya, Hawaii and New Zealand. But it was a presentation on China's expansion plans which prompted further discussion. China's largest macadamia growing province, Yunnan, aims to have 50,000 hectares under macadamia trees by 2020, or about 15 million trees. Further down the line, it estimates it will produce 150,000 tonnes nut in shell by about 2025. CEO of the Australian Macadamia Society, Jolian Burnett, says China's expansion plan should be embraced by the global industry, not feared. But I think it's encouraging to hear that China is uh, uh, trying to rapidly grow its own production and processing capacity. Um, there's no doubt that the Chinese market has huge potential. They're a, they're a culture that knows nuts, that uh, snacks on nuts, that cooks with nuts. They just don't know macadamias yet. Yeah. So if we can get them aware of the macadamia and its taste and its versatility, I am very confident that that market will grow and I'm very confident that it will be able to absorb their own production uh, and yet continue to be a net importer. So I, I, I'm actually uh, quite encouraged by what I hear happening in China. I think it's good for the industry globally. Back on the home front, Mr Burnett says current heavy flowering was an indicator of a healthy nut season to come. Look, uh, 2012 uh, is just about finished and it was certainly uh, showing signs of a good recovery. It was by no means a bumper crop. Uh, if we can build on that, and certainly the flowering, which is just happening now, is good. Um, perhaps, if anything, it's a bit too strong. Um, but uh, if, if we then get a, a, a warm, uh, clear summer, I think we should be able to fill those nuts and hopefully retain them.